Hey everyone, this is Rene from iMore.com and right now we're looking at the performance difference between iPads and iOS devices. Here we have the original iPad, iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad 4, iPad mini, as well as the iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch 5 and we're going to put them through a very unscientific test. Boot time is how long it takes your device to start uh, for the first time or if you reboot it because it's causing you problems. You don't do it often, but when you do do it, it's nice not to have to wait. So here we have the iPhone and the iPod Touch, which come up first, followed by the iPad 4, and then the other ones coming up pretty much in line after it. So that gives you a good indication of how long you'll wait if and when you have to restart your devices. Rendering web pages is something you'll probably do fairly often. We're going to iMore.com and the mobile sites came up almost instantly on the iPhone and iPod Touch and again, iPad 4 ahead, the rest following up in line, as you'd expect. Now the New York Times, the uh, traditional, the stalwart, the vanguard, again comes up pretty fast. Actually, I think the iPad 4 was a second ahead this time. but. You know, no huge comparative differences, except for the original iPad still chugging along. SunSpider measures JavaScript performance, so if you're trying to load Facebook or some other site that's really heavy on JavaScript, the speed that it can render all that is really important. Um, we have some, some issues with the sites actually coming up, but the iPad 4 and the iPhone 5 all did a great job. The A5 devices, which are the most of the iPads and the iPod Touch took longer. And of course, the original iPad bringing up the rear again. And the results are for the iPad 4, we have 789. For the iPhone 5, we have 973. For the iPad mini, we have 907. For the iPad 3, we have 1467. The iPad 2 is 1555. The iPod 5 is 1840 and the iPad 1 is 2883. And now for the Geekbench tests which measure the CPU performance, we got really close to the Geekbench standards which is 743 for the iPad mini, 1755 for the iPad 4, 790 for the iPad 3, 781 for the iPad 2, 454 for the iPad 1. 1567 for the iPhone 5 and 620 for the iPod to Touch 5. Infinity Blade is our old standby for gaming performance. If you can load the epic Unreal 3 engine quickly, uh, then you're going to do a lot of things quickly. So as we can see here, um, most everything is going at a fairly even clip except for the original iPad which is once again bringing up the rear. All of them are launching at almost the same time so uh, none of these devices are going to make you wait too long. Again the retina devices are pushing more pixels especially the iPad 3 and iPad 4 so it's impressive that they are finally as fast as they were before. Once again, these iPad 4 performance tests have been ludicrously unscientific, but these are the kind of day-to-day -day usages that matter the most to real people. For more, you can find me at Rene Ritchie on Twitter, and for more great videos, you can go to youtube.com slash imore video. Wait, wait, wait. It's okay. Do you know where it is? On yes. The Three, two, one.